and welcome to this week's Social Second. The Troy football team, well in case somehow, some way you missed it, the Troy football team did this. On LSU side of the field, they need a field goal to send it to OT. Edling ready, flushed out, rolling, rolling, throws downfield, and it's intercepted! It's intercepted! God bless you, Blaze Brown! Brown makes the interception! Edling and LSU will come up short! Do you believe it? Jerry Miller's favorite play call coming up here with five seconds to go. Oh, fellas, this is sweet! Snap back. And the kneel down we've been waiting for since 2004 as Brandon Silvers has taken it. It is 9.22 Central Time in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. There's not a dry eye among the Trojan Nation tonight. Your final score, Troy 24, LSU 21. Truly, this one belongs to the Trojans. The win was Troy's second ever over a ranked opponent and snapped LSU's 49 game home non-conference winning streak. And we did we did so many good things. I'm serious, man. We just beat LSU! Jordan Chun rushed for 191 yards while Blaze Brown made five tackles, picked off a pass, and forced a fumble as they were named Sunbelt Conference Offensive and Defense Players of the Week, respectively. Neil Brown made his media rounds following the victory, appearing on well-known shows like Sports Center AM, The Jim Rome Show, and The Doug Gottlieb Show. We got uh, LSU alum Ryan Clark standing behind me looking very, very angry. So I'm just going to let him tee this one up just because I've got to get him out of here or I'm going to get hurt. <laughs> Coach, rumor has it that you're actually a good person. So why <laughs> would you bring your team down I appreciate that. and ruin homecoming for me? <laughs> well, I, I'll, I'll tell you this, Rod. Uh, one, of, one of the lowlights of my career in 2008, first year calling, calling offensive plays, the offensive coordinator here at Troy, we're up 31 to three against your against your LSU Tigers. Oh, so you gonna rub that and, in too, right, Coach? And we we we, <laughs> well well we figured out a way well we figured out a way to lose the game, and uh, so this has been a long time coming. This is uh, brings the whole thing full circle. We were able to get the win after we should have got a win back in 2008. Coach, I'll give you the answer that you wanted to say to Ryan, but you couldn't. Schedule a homecoming game, you can win. <laughs> Shoot, we thought we did. <laughs> Troy has also been winning on social media. On Saturday, the final score graphic received more than 2,000 retweets and 4,500 likes on Twitter, as well as another 6,500 on Facebook and Instagram. Fans weren't just responding to the historic win by clicking the like button. Videos began popping up left and right of Trojan Nation's reaction. This compilation can be found on Troy Athletic's YouTube page. team wasn't the only one picking up a win over the weekend. Behind 18 kills from Logan Page and 14 by Bell Waldrop, the Troy volleyball team knocked off Georgia State 3-2 on Saturday. The men's cross country team took home second in the JSU Foothills Invitational over the weekend with five runners finishing in the top 11. Now here's Taylor with this week's top three. It was so hard to pick just three plays from this weekend's big win at LSU, we decided to throw in an honorable mention. Evan Legassi's 37-yard field goal as time expired in the first half definitely deserves a mention. After the teams were called back out of the locker room to finish off the final two seconds, Legassi's field goal gave the Trojans a 10-0 lead at the break. Jordan Chun's big run comes in at number three this week. On the second play of the third quarter, Chun broke off his 74-yard rush to set himself up for a one-yard touchdown to put the Trojans ahead 17-0. Our number two play of the week helped set the tone on Saturday. On the first play from scrimmage, Sedarius Rooker rocked the LSU running back and knocked the ball free. Chris Weatherspoon was there to fall on it and give Troy great field position to set up for the first score of the game. And our top play from this weekend, it's one that sealed the deal in Tiger Stadium. With LSU driving late in the game and Troy leading by three, Blaze Brown did what he does best, and that's intercept passes. The Sunbelt Conference Defensive Player of the Week capped a memorable night with his eighth career INT. 
That's this week's top three. Here's Madison, who sat down with our defensive back, Marcus Jones. Thanks, Taylor. This week, we're joined by Marcus Jones, Troy's defensive back and one of the big heroes at the big win this weekend against LSU. So, Marcus, let's get straight to your big moment. Troy's up 17-7 at the time, but LSU gets the ball at the start of the fourth quarter. Can you walk us through the play? Uh, we had the right play call. Uh, I was supposed to go underneath the one number one receiver, and uh, I saw the quarterback eyes, and then I saw him release the ball, so then I got up and got it. Yeah, it was for sure an awesome play. Um, could you tell us about the overall feeling after the game? How many calls and texts did you get when you got onto the bus? Oh, I got a lot of calls and texts from family, friends, and uh, a lot of community and enterprise, and it was exciting. Yeah, and I was actually about to bring that up. Me and Marcus are both from Enterprise, Alabama. We went to junior high school and high school together. Um, for those of you who don't know, Enterprise is actually about 30 minutes away from Troy University. So we're going to show you guys a picture of me and Marcus way back in the day, which it is just full of braces and a bunch of awkwardness, but I like to think we, we grew out of that stage for sure. Mm. Uh, yeah, that's the exact same thing I said. But thank you so much for your time, Marcus, and congrats on the big win. Thank you. Now let's take a look at what's coming up. Troy Soccer hosts a pair of matches over the weekend. The men's and women's tennis teams are at the Mercer Gridiron Classic in Macon, Georgia. Softball hosts Northwest Florida State in a doubleheader on Saturday. And volleyball welcomes rival South Alabama to Trojan Arena for a 4 p.m. Saturday match. Don't forget to reserve your tickets for Wednesday as football takes on South Alabama at the Vet. The game will be broadcast on ESPN2, but I can promise you'll want to be there for what always proves to be a great game. Visit TroyTrojans.com slash tickets for more information. As always, if you want to keep up with all the action, be sure to follow us on the usernames and handles down below on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook for highlights, updates, and all things Troy Athletics. That's all for today's Social Second. Have a great day, and go Trojans.